I used to love them films. What films? Them disaster type ones, you know. <laughs> when we were kids, do you remember the one tree mum and dad would have? Was that bit of steak she'd cook for him on a Saturday night. <laughs> mm. We'd be banned to the front room with the telly. <laughs> we loved it. What did we used to call it? Saturday night at the movies. <laughs> Always seemed to be one of them old films on then. Mum and Dad laughing their heads off in the kitchen. Yeah. I used to love hearing them laugh. Yeah, Mum would come in with a little dish, a few chips and a tiny piece of steak. <laughs> We'd think it was the fanciest thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> at Easter Parade, Magnificent Seven. Poseidon Adventure? No. We saw that one at pictures. Do you not remember? Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know how many times I've seen it on telly since, but I still cry when fat last dies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I used to love a movie, me. Don't seem to find the time these days. Uh, Mum would take you upstairs to bed. Ten minutes later, you'd sneak back down, crawl <laughs> under the sofa. I would watch starts being up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, hey, and if I got caught, you would always cover for me. <laughs> you make some excuse up for something. <laughs> uh, stuck up for me, you did. Yeah. Because I was your little sister. I'm still covering for you to this day. Mm -hmm. I know. Deb? Mm. Deb! Mm. Maybe that's why you've turned out the way you have. How do you mean? Spoiled, selfish, money mad. And how'd you work that one out? You had me and Dad wrapped down your little finger from the day you was born. There's only Mum could see through you. Where's all this coming from? So when she died, it was like a double whammy. Not only was she not there to keep you in line, but me and Dad gave you more leeway because we felt sorry for you. So, yeah, maybe that's why you turned out like this. Are you having a laugh? I was 11. I know I remember it. I skivvied for you and Dad for most of my teenage years. From that day on, you never heard the word no. Not from me, nor Dad. And after the married cell, you never turn up on our doorstep without wanting something. Only this time you've topped it all, haven't you? This time you want the whole flaming street. Now, let's have it right. Last time I came knocking on your door, I gave you a small fortune. Yeah, and we know why. To soften me up for what you had planned. Those are my neighbours, my friends. You treated like rubbish what needed clearing away. So, I hate to say it, but I'm glad Mum's not around to see what you've turned into. Is it just me? Or is the atmosphere a little frosty? <laughs> oh, come on. I know you're angry with me, but can't we just put it on... <laughs> put it on ice! Put it on ice! I'm going out my mind here, and all you can do is tell jokes. Well, it beats tearing each other down. Or have you not finished highlighting my many failings? No, don't tell me, cold shoulder. <laughs> this is just the tip of the iceberg. <laughs> tip of the iceberg! What's the matter with you? Have you not been listening to a word I've said? Oh, get off your eye, horse. Anyone would think you'd like the perfect life the way you go on at me. Well, let me tell you, you've done a few crappy things in your time and all. Yeah, well, I didn't go into business with a sex offender or swindled my neighbours out the homes. Well, you have cheated on your wife and served time for assault. Oh, and this is my favourite. Fathered a love child with a girl half your age while your wife had breast cancer. Yeah? You see? Two can play at this game. Yeah, well, whatever I've done, i followed my heart. You only followed the money. And why's that, eh? Because you're selfish and greedy and it's all you care about. Because it's all I've got! You think I wanted this life, eh? Do you not think I look at you and wish I had everything that you have? Yeah, of course I love the money and the success, but guess what? Never loves me back. <laughs>